We are back with more My Southern Home, and I'm here with Kevin with Barber Cabinet Company. And Kevin, the space that you brought us to today, it's so handsome. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. So what was the goal of this area when you teamed up with the homeowners? You know, this is a, another phase of a remodel project, but this is a new addition onto the remodel. And the homeowners, in concert with Noble Johnson Architects, put together an initial floor plan for this addition. It also includes a powder room and a laundry room on the other, other side of it. But the initial goal was really to have a ball game room uh, for them to enjoy, uh, you know, their, you know, game day with all their family and friends. Well, they're huge Tennessee fans. Yes, they are, and, and Titans as well. And I love how you incorporated the love for their ball team in this bar. Yeah, thank you. You know, it's uh, kind of fun what we do to sit and consult with customers and we kind of find out about their passion. And I was just drawing on my museum experience in the past uh, on some of the museums I did, whereby we used a lot of uh, sandblasted materials and stuff like that. And of course, the University of Tennessee with its checkered end zones, uh, you know, it just seemed natural to me to kind of make that in the background uh, as part of the, you know, ball game day, you know, experience. So they were open to it and it really, uh, you know, came out as we hoped it would. Well, and they have everything they need in this space as well. Yeah, you really don't have to leave the space at all. You've got all the refrigeration you need here. Um, so yeah, it's a great space. So when you're consulting with a client, that's where you start, right? What are your needs and wants? And then you build from there? Yeah, this floor plan evolved. Um, you know, the architect did initial layout and sitting down and consulting with the homeowners. We just talked about, you know, what it needs to have, what it doesn't need to have. And, and so uh, he had some pretty uh, good ideas about what he wanted and what he didn't want. Uh, which wasn't really reflected in the original plan, and that's how we kind of got to where we wanted to be. Uh, and in that process, we kind of discovered in the layout of it that we had to add a little bit more space in order to get the amount of TVs he wanted in the room and to have appropriate walk-around space, you know, so much from the, from the back of the bar to the countertop and then walking around it and stuff like that. So that's part of the whole design layout phase before we even really get to the elevation phase of it. Well, that's so important to have those discussions because there's nothing worse than having a final product that doesn't meet your needs. It doesn't have the flow and function that we talk about so much on the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I go to great lengths to make sure that it, it I call it ease of use, you know, and how they're going to use it. So we explore all kinds of different ways. So when we walk away from a project that everybody, the homeowners, ourselves, we all feel good about the approach we came up with it. You know, the worst thing you can do, do is say, well, I really wish we should have done this or whatever. So we try to, we try to exhaust that to make sure everybody's good with what we came up with. Well, homeowners love entertaining now, so it's nice that you are able to customize spaces like the one that we're in for that purpose. Right. Yeah, there's a big trend uh, these days with uh, bourbon rooms and things like that. So we're converting, you know, living rooms. We're converting dining rooms. Uh, you know, people are starting to rethink how they want those areas and how they're going to entertain with it on a, on a regular basis. So we're doing a lot of that, a lot of sit and chats, you know, and game rooms similar to this. And this is a pretty large footprint, but you can do that with a smaller space as well. Yeah, like a butler's pantry uh, as well, you know, so it doesn't have to be this large, but certainly, you know, it helps. So Kevin, what were some of the specific needs that the homeowners wanted with this bar area? You know, after we got the floor plan, where they wanted it. Then we started fun, you know, talking about the elevation of it and then the kind of appliances they wanted to have it from a dishwasher to wine refrigerator to refrigeration. Um, and then we also talked about um, you know, how it was gonna look, how it was gonna shape. He wanted some arches and curves 
He wanted the bar to be at bar height, so at 42 inches high. So we really were able to incorporate everything in it that they were looking for. Well, and you worked with Andrew Thompson with Andrew Thompson Construction and Anna Brown with Anna Brown Interiors on this entire space. And right. you can really tell that everybody was in play in Had this room. Had a little room. bit of a role in it. And um, yeah, it also kind of led into the half bath as well. So we've got that beautiful orange UT uh, base cabinet in there that really kind of finished off and tied in both of those rooms as well. So if a homeowner is thinking about creating a bar area for their home, what are some of the things that they should think about? Well, the first thing they need to do is they, we'd like for them just to pick up the phone and give us a call and let us have a conversation about their space and what they're thinking about doing and, and see if we can help them out. Well, one of the neat things about working with Barber Cabinet Company is you all have this ability to see a space and to see things that the average person like myself can't see? Well, uh, that's because we've been blessed and fortunate to be around for 76 years this year. So our dad started the company in 1948. We're still family owned and operated. And so over that course, we've learned a lot. And uh, so we're able to pass that expertise on to our customers and our consultation with them. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for being with us today. We always love having you on the show. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. I always enjoy being on My Southern Home. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.